what is up everyone this is Kiran here welcome back to tech Karen youtube channel a minui 12.5 based minui plus room is now available for some devices in my case in my hands this is redmi note 8 which does not have this build officially available we already know that minui 12.5 is not released for redmi note 8 users but yes we have a lot of ported rooms and including that we have the latest minui plus version a ported build available for the redmi note 8 users i'm going to show you a lot of things like what is the Geekbench score and to the score how's the performance how's the battery backup how's this room going on some new things and everything in this video make sure to watch this video till the end video is gonna be quite interesting let's get started guys this room comes with many cool kind of customizations actually not the customizations but all those cool kind of features which you get in minimum 12.5 i'm going to share with you a lot of things regarding this build first of all the first thing which we're going to take a look at is the magisk in my case i'm using magisk v20.3 so the main thing if you're using the custom room is to discuss about if the banking apps are supported or not so if you're looking for the banking apps let me show you the safety status first of all in my case the safety net status is passing CTS profile is true which means you'll be able to check out the banking apps very easily and let's talk about the Google's play protect certification I'm not sure about that but if the safety status is passing it should be there also but not sure so let's find out we have this general options available this one is the new one I haven't checked it out first time I'm checking this one maybe we have here it is you can see play protect certification is device is certified which means device is certified and the safety net is passing you'll be able to use the banking apps without any issues other thing to keep in mind in this build is the viper for android if you're seeing this we have the viper for android fx pre installed if you're audio lover music lover you can basically say that you if you're audio lover music lover you'll be able to use these things and viper 400 if it is pre-installed you don't need to do anything on the first boot if you see this just open your device it will ask you to grant the root permission just grant the root permission it will download all the drivers and you just need to reboot your device and you'll be able to use the viper for android on your device you'll not be able to use this without root so you need you must need root for that and if you you know that what is Viper for Android this is a very good kind of equalizer and this is the same thing like the Dolby Atmos and if you love the Dolby Atmos you can install that one also I have a video that how you can get the Dolby Atmos in MIUI 12 so you can go and check it out that will work on this build also but Viper for Android is pre-installed which has all the features speakers Bluetooth we have this USB option available here and we have the headphones options available here you can add the presets we already know about the Viper for Android if we're talking taking a look at some other things we have a lot of super wallpapers options available actually these five super wallpapers are available but these are not five actually this geometry one was, is not available and is not working so don't use this one we have the snowy peaks with the fireway rings home and red planet all these wallpapers are available if you want to apply the snowy peaks just click here it will take some time to load and you'll be able to see this preview here you'll be able to just apply directly from here it will ask you to turn on always on display but don't think about that just re just see and here we have successfully applied this live wallpaper which seems to be working really great here let me show you by opening my device first of all just go here and here it is this is how this wallpaper looks like if you don't know what is snowy peaks is a very cool kind of super wallpapers super wallpaper which change according to the time so this seems to be really nice the wallpaper is pre-installed and if you want to talk about some other wallpapers we have many other wallpapers options available here let me show you which wallpapers i'm talking about we have the nature patterns wallpaper with the liquid colors wallpaper which are already present in minu 12.5 dynamic nebula wallpapers are available too minimalism mount mine mount signing you can already know you already know about and this one is actually the super wallpaper which is available as the normal wallpaper so if you want any other kind of frame like this one for example just click here go to apply it will ask you for lock screen and home screen and apply it successfully and the room is seems to be quite fast here while multitasking it does not give you any kind of lags in my case and all these wallpapers are pre-installed redmi official built-in wallpaper and 100 million pixel to shoot the earth a lot of wallpapers are available pre-installed in this build 
Now let's take a look at some other things. If you're able to see, there's a navigation bar pill option available here, which means you'll be able to use the full screen navigation bar gestures, including that full screen Android 10 gestures. We have the floating windows. A lot more things are available. Some of the guys were asking about this, how much RAM we have free. So this is the thing which you can see, one GB only up of four GB. But in my case, the scores, it does not matter as much because the performance what matters is and in my case the performance is quite smooth and this is a MIUI but the performance is good here so in my case I have no issues here and there and also let me tell you one more thing if you ever use the Xiaomi U latest Mi 12.5 you already know that Xiaomi U has bug if you swipe down from here you will see this notification center from here and even if you swipe down from this right side you will see the controls you will see the notification center but in my case I have fixed this one and I thanks to my friend Lucifer who helped me with this one so we have this bug solved now which is which was available in Xiaomi U but now it's not available in MIUI mix port this is not available in the MIUI plus port so you can go and check it out this one thing also what I was talking about is this full screen navigation gestures full screen gestures are available if you go for the home screen and if you go for the system navigation we have the gestures and buttons options available you will be able to hide this screen indicator if you don't need but if you need this this is available here the full screen gestures are working fine here floating windows is available here this seems to be working really really impressively a lot of guys were wondering about the Geekbench score and Antutu benchmark scores so now we finally have both of these things available we have the Geekbench score we have the Antutu benchmark score I'm going to show you all two scores one by one stay tuned for that one first of all we have the Geekbench score which is available in my case how about this Geekbench score let me show you what Geekbench score I got 312 is the single core score which is of course very good here and 1325 is the multi core score which is honestly quite great if you go for the single core comparison average we got 307 now we got 312 so this seems to be really nice and like that we have the multi core which have the 1277 is the average score but in this build we got 1325 which is quite great but as I previously told you I don't believe in these scores these are just numbers but if some guys believe that so I thought I should show you and like that we have the Antutu benchmark score option is available here to the Antutu benchmark score is normal it's not great but it's not bad also let me show you how much Antutu score which I got 170557 this is the Antutu benchmark score which I got so this is also not seems to be really bad as you can see my device average score is 174838 now we got 170557 so this is still good but it all depends upon your preferences in my case the performance seems to be really nice you got any major bugs didn't got any major lags here even you can see the horizontal gestures are working horizontal screen horizontal launcher you can say here horizontal reasons are available here if you're looking for the horizontal reasons these are fine and as you can see this is super fine let me tell you one more thing if you're looking for the smoothness and if you're seeing that you don't have these kind of smoothness options available let me show you by going into additional settings just open it available options and if you go for the animations let me tell you which animations I'm talking about some already know about these these are the animations which I'm talking about I'm using 0.5x 0.5x and 0.5x I recommend you to use that use them as 0.5x because that will be helpful for you but all other things are nothing else you just don't you did you don't need to do this kind of things and then you'll be able to use your device like this very fastly very smoothly let me show you a very cool kind of feature which you get in the gallery Guys, the gallery UI is now changed here. If you know that editing editor UI was not like this one in the previous builds, but in this build now Xiaomi EU and MIUI Mix and this one in MIUI 12.5, we have the new kind of editor in gallery where we have the crop and filter option. And if you go for the filter, we have the snowfall, mid mid winter. These are the filters which were not present previously, but now these are available here. We also have the lime option available here, cool mist and some cool kind of filters options are available we have other options are available here too if I'm not wrong let me share with you if I have those 
let me share with you so I wait for that one maybe this one was Carmack and this one is caramel this one is a new one which we got in this build and like that we have this soda warm the hills travel a lot more things we have the nightfall option is available here too these are some cool kind of effects which you get here and if you go for the other things for example we have the sky filters options available clear sky sunny azure a lot more things options are available in this editor this seems to be really nice here and like that let me show you one more thing if you go for the edit option sorry for this one we have a very cool kind of features if you go for the more we have the create pdf we have the recognize text option available all the new and latest features are present here you can simply go here if you want to create a pdf just click on the create pdf and the pdf is done you will see the name and everything is written here you'll be able to use the room seems to be really great and you can use this build as a daily driver in my case of course if you want to install it how you can install that let me show you the file which you need which is required to install this build on your device in my case the file is available in this folder MIUI plus v20.12.28 MIUI 12.5 v10 zip this is the file which you need and as I already told you I am using orange fox custom recovery here I will prefer you I will always prefer you to use the orange fox custom recovery for those advanced features so just boot into custom recovery and if you are using orange fox custom recovery and if you are encrypted just follow all these steps which I am gonna share with you in this video what you need to do is as you can see we are booted into custom recovery right now and here after booting into custom recovery just wait and now just enter your lock screen password and make sure you have a lock screen password enabled if you are encrypted if you are decrypted then it's up to you so we are now decrypting uh, our data here and after decrypting our data wait let me let me tell you what you need to do is dalvi catch system vendor data all these five partitions are needed to wipe so just wait and swipe to wipe all these partitions after some time what you need to do is you need to go to your system or wherever you have that file saved like this one is the file which i was talking about me plus v20.12.28 me 12.5 zip etc swipe to install it will take some time to install so just wait for the installation to happen all the things i have already shown you after that format data and reboot your device this is all from today's video i hope you like this if you like this don't forget to like and share this video if you're new here don't forget to subscribe me thanks for watching and goodbye